Hi, YouTube family. Welcome back. So today we are in the kitchen. Jeez, my hair. <laughs> so today we're in the kitchen and we are going to make pepperoni lasagna for my first time. I know we just do the cheat way and go to the grocery store and give me some Stouffer and make me some lasagna. But today I am making lasagna. And our ingredients today, we would need tomato paste, crushed tomatoes. Can you see? Yeah, tomato sauce. And we have these lasagna pasta pieces. We're gonna need an onion, a green pepper. Oh, we're gonna use Parmesan cheese. We're gonna use mild cheddar and mozzarella for that ooey, gooey, gooey. Ooey, gooey, ooey, gooey, ooey, gooey. How the cheese pull. Boom, boom. So let's get started and cut up some stuff. I have the water boiling so that we can get the noodles in there. We are gonna dice our green pepper. It feels so weird to not have it. It's <laughs> so tiny. So my hand looks so little. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Decorations so nice. I can't wait to show you guys. But you guys have to wait for the reveal. So, are you guys ready for Christmas? a holiday Onion. So excited because I like spaghetti, so I feel like if I, you know, season my lasagna, I'm like, but I didn't even use this. I know I'm just using tomato sauce, but we're gonna give it a shot. Of course, you know, we need sugar up in there for the tartness of it. I really enjoy cooking with this gas stove, you guys. I really like do like gas. Last two houses I've been at has been gas, and I think I feel like it's really, 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 really. So I bought this can opener, and I don't know how to use it. So I am still using a regular can opener. Get this prepped. 
We need your hamburger meat too. See how this goes. Honestly, that I had bought one electric one and it had broke on me, so I bought a new one, which is supposed to be better, but I don't know how to use it. Up. We're getting ready so that when I go over here to the stove, you know, just twist it and turn, twist it and turn, and twist it and turn, and twist it and turn. Tomato sauce, tomato paste, and oh, crushed tomato. All the different flavors of tomato in a con. <laughs> okay. So what's boy? Nope. So we're gonna get started over here. Come on. Okay, here. so I bought this new little pan skillet thing the other day. I love it. It's so freaking awesome. It's nice, it's big, it's deep. I didn't like that one wok I had. Um, it was uh, sticky. When I used to fried rice on uh, Thanksgiving, I didn't like it. So I went and dropped a spoon of minced garlic in here. Can never go wrong with garlic. And then want to drop our green peppers in there. Saute it and saute it, saute it, saute it. You want to cook it down so it caramelizes. So I bought these cute mirrors today, you guys. Look at my little fingernails. So while that's caramelizing, I got my boiling water over here. Put some oil in it and we're gonna drop the onion noodles in here. I can remember this my, my first time in this. I want to oil over. Do I need one or two? One should be enough, right? So now that this is cooking down, we are going to add in our meat. Okay, I, you can use whatever. I actually happen to have the tube one today.
and we shall see them. You know me, food accent. This one is almost empty. Roasted garlics and herbs. Season salt. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Paprika. Mmm, it smells so good, you guys. If we have leftovers, guess what? Make spaghetti. <laughs> same thing, you know? Big noodles, small noodles, same thing, you know? All right, once the meat is cooked thoroughly, I'm going to dump in diced tomatoes, crushed tomatoes, I'm sorry, some of this tomato paste, tomato's kind of thick, so I'm going to put all this in, and tomato sauce. And to reduce the tartness, we are going to add sugar. I don't like tartness of tomatoes, so. So route that I go. And now we're gonna strain, while this simmers, we're gonna strain um, the noodles and run them under cold water and spread them out so that they don't stick together, okay? All right, guys, it's time for the layering. I've had the noodles in a baking pan, baking sheet drying out. So let's start with our bottom. This one got stuck together, so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the bottom for support. The fuck, hot, I forgot, that stove was on. Let's go this way. Yeah, I'm gonna separate. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me open up my cheese. I can be ready. To 
looks like we used three different tomatoes and using three different cheese. All right, we are going to start with the meat. Lay it on here. Oh, yeah. Am I supposed to layer more noodles? <laughs> Let me lie. <laughs> okay, we lie. <laughs> All right, we'll spread it out. So we're gonna do more layering. Spread on our mozzarella. Some parmesan. And mild cheddar. Then we're gonna place our pepperoni. Cute little domino looking pizza face ass looking you. So cute, you look like a pizza. Never again will I give you all my trust. All right, now, guys, we are going to layer on some extra cheese. Why not? <laughs> okay. All right. And now we're going to layer on our next layer up. Should it go the same direction? Yeah. Okay. Our next layer. support. Scoot it over a little bit. I feel like I can use a better scoop than that. I'll do a ladle. The sauce tastes so good, you guys. All right, next layer of cheese. Oven is beeping, it is ready for us, baby. We're almost there, baby. Pepperoni time. Doom, 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 doom.
thin give it an extra piece No extra cheese for you. And next layer, baby. We're almost done. Because you are filled up to the top, baby. You a thick, fat, bushy, gushy, yummy, creamy. Piece of hair. Got another tray over here that we're going I feel like I have extra freaking lasagna pieces now. Where is this hair coming from me? So I'm just going to thicken it up. <laughs> I didn't think I would have extra. Um, apparently I do. So yeah, might as well put you up on here. Me. Actually, this is a lot. It's just a big lasagna then. Spread the sexy mama out. Cheese it up with our final layer. Oh, it's a cheese thicken. This looks so fattening. As the plot thickens, Hamadan for flavoring. Alright. Since it's the end. We can top all of the pepperoni on here, make it look pretty. So when it come out the oven, look eatable. Look like you want to scrump it and hump it and just devour it, you know. Sexy little thank you. Have anybody ever told you that you're such a sexy cut up wiener? Almost look like a pizza, but you're not a pizza. You're not a pizza. You're better than that. You are a lasagna. Something that Garfield loves. Something like that. Porsche's baby daddy. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Now that everything is filled up, just one last piece. We are going to wrap it in some aluminum foil.
we're gonna bake this for like 15, 20 minutes. All right, drop it in the oven. All right, guys, so now I am removing the foil. So we can bake the top layer. Look like a pizza. <laughs> that look like a mama beater. All right, we're gonna drop it back in and let it bake some more. All right, guys. We are going to now let it sit. Now that the cheese is golden and bubbling up, you know, got the little burnt spots to make it delicious. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let this sit cool off before we cut it. All right. I don't know what y'all, but I, I like the sound of the, the grease bubbles. It's like satisfying to me. How oh, shiny it is. I just wanted to record before it stopped bubbling. Mmm. I tasted the sauce and I know the sauce tastes good. So. Add cheese and pasta grill. Well, what? Bomb. All right, guys, it cooled off. Let's cut a piece. Let's see if it's settled in nicely. baby wow look at you look at you not falling apart all right let's i need to take a shower and everything y'all pour some little crushed peppers on this because you know i love my spicy Mm. All right, love you guys. Try yourself, subscribe, like, or watch my other videos. Good night.